This is called the show. If you didn't know, this is called the show. Shush, shush. Hey, hey, hey. Shush, shush. Got no one in bed. Guess who's back in the motherfucking hell? Ooh, Barracuda. who's back <laughs> you know if you guys don't already know this which i'm sure you do because i have been tweeting it and mentioning to you guys that now i am two days a week now you guys can listen to me every wednesdays and thursdays at 3 p.m and if you didn't know which i am sure you do i'm on my period <laughs> okay the reason why i'm saying this <sighs> because if you guys haven't already noticed, when a woman is bleeding and she has cramps, she notices every little single thing about other people or herself. And for me, I noticed that my hair needed to get done because I had too many grays showing and I needed my hair to get shorter. So that's what I did. I went ahead and I got my hair colored, which I posted it on Elizabeth. Meza, and I also did it on my Facebook. And what else can I tell you guys? You know, I, there's so much stuff for me to say that I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Maybe I should start off by telling you guys about the do's and don'ts when you date. Um, I finally decided to go on a date for the first time. I know, shocker, right? Because if you guys recall, I haven't dated in a while, it's been a long time. In the past, I've gone out with guys, but nobody that I wanted to date. It was just simply guys that I just want to, I can't believe I'm going to tell you guys this. <laughs> it's just guys that I like to have fun with and that's it. Nobody that I'm trying to have as a boyfriend. You know, it's like being single mom, having kids and, you know, it's like just being busy doing stuff. I just don't have time for that right now, but now that it's 2017, I think I'm getting ready to start uh, looking for a date, uh, like a potential date to have a partner that I can date. And in the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is I'll keep someone on the side until I find a date. But I went on a date for the first time and I'm not, I haven't put myself out there. I know I said I was going to start doing that, but this guy just kind of fell on my lap. He is a mutual friend of an acquaintance of mine that I met many, many years ago. She and I met. We used to go to the same gym, would work out together. And she, I, don't, I think she might have maybe set us up, <laughs> set us up in a way that he friended me on Facebook. And I saw that we had mutual friends on Facebook, which was, you know, my friend, um, Lisa. <laughs> So I, of course, immediately text Lisa and I was like, Lisa, do you know so-and-so? And she said, yes, that is actually my daughter's best friend's dad. He's a divorced man and he's really, really nice. And I said, cool. So as soon as she said that, we started messaging back and forth and the conversations were fine. It was great. Um, the one thing that I have to give you guys as a pointer for advice is if you go out on a first date with a female or a guy, it doesn't matter who you are, do not spill your entire life story. Do not tell them everything because it's a major turnoff. And, you know, I just, I don't want to hear why your relationship didn't work out. Unless I ask you, then you can tell me. But if I didn't ask you, do not tell me because then I'll... I'm going to start questioning, do I even want to continue going out with you on a date or not? And for, um, for example, you know what? I'm just going to keep it honest. I'm just going to keep it real and I'm just going to be honest. He told me that his wife cheated on him. Of course, immediately as soon as he tells me that, I'm going to question, why is your wife cheating on you? Is there something that you're not doing 
that is right. Unless your wife is a hoe or your man is a hoe that goes out and has like side dude, side chicks on the side, you know, that he's just a player, then I'm not going to judge you and I'm not going to say anything. But if you come across like you are a nice guy and things should be okay and then your wife cheats on you, I'm going to question why she did it maybe there's something missing and the reason why I say this because I did that in the past I cheated on my first husband I've been married twice the first time I married which you guys already know this a lot of you guys know that I was married uh, at such a young age I started dating this guy when I was 18 we got married at 21 I think it was just too young to get married but I married him anyway and with this guy He was a really nice guy. He was perfect. He was perfect if you are trying to, you know, like settle down and have kids. He was perfect. He was the best guy, I think. But it just didn't work out for us because he was not mature enough. Everything that he did, he had to get his approval from his mom, whether if it was an oil change for his car, um, if he needed to make a decision for the house. His mom had to make it for him and he had to call his mom and she had to drive down. She had to take his car to get the oil change. That, of course, doesn't work for me because I need a man. I need a man that's going to take control and a man that's going to do the manly things that he has to do in life. So that's why I cheated on my first husband. I'm not happy about it. I will never, ever cheat on anybody else ever again. I haven't done it since. And with this guy... I ended up telling him because I felt really, really bad. I felt so bad because he was really nice. He was such a nice guy, and I just didn't think he deserved it. So I ended up telling him, and of course, you know, we broke up. It didn't work out. Cut to now, what I'm saying, the date that I went out on, that's what he told me. He told me that his wife cheated on him. And that was like an immediate turnoff for me because I immediately started thinking about what I had done to my first husband and why I cheated on him. And I thought, hmm, is it because maybe there's something in him that it's not, like he just doesn't take control? And the reason why I, that came across that, you know, across my head thinking that, because the entire time we were at the table, he came across like a type of guy that he is like he like he he just doesn't um I don't know how to say this I do but I don't want to (laughs) um he just didn't come across like a man that's just gonna like take control and take charge he just didn't come out he didn't come across that way he came across the type of guy that he's just like too like a pushover I even had to text my you know Lisa right away and just ask her hey is he a pushover because this is the way he's coming across and of course you know Lisa she's like not at all by any means he's really nice but he's not that at all but that's the impression that I got from him based on at dinner when we were at dinner our conversations and everything that he was saying that's how he came across and of course for me that was a major turnoff and there was just like little things that were happening that it just kept turning me off throughout the night. So my advice to you guys is, or women, if you go on a first date with somebody that you like, or you potentially want to go out with them for a second date, do not tell them your life story unless they ask. If they don't ask, do not tell them. Secondly, do not talk so much. He talked all night long. Like, I zoned out for a while. He kept talking. He was like, and you know, it's one of those things where you're looking at the person and you just like zone out because he's talking and talking and talking and that's it. (laughs) So I zoned out and he did ask me a couple of questions. Not that this was like a two hour dinner. So you can imagine him talking for two hours and barely asked me anything about me. Um, And the questions that he, by the time he asked anything about me, I was so not motivated anymore. I was so completely turned off. Like if he had me, he lost me. So by the time he asked me the questions about me, I was already gone. (laughs) I was like so far gone. I was like, I don't know what freeway I was on (laughs) that it was just too, I was so far gone that there was no way of him saving it again. Um, 
you know, and so by the time he asked me, I just kind of gave him short short answers because he lost me. Like he waited too long to ask anything about me. You know, he was just spilling his entire life story. So that's like number two. And here's like another thing that I'm going to advise. If you go out to dinner, try to eat something kind of healthy, like not too, uh, something that's not too fatty. (laughs) Because my mind, you guys know where my mind's going to go. You know, if you're going to order something kind of fatty to eat on a first date, my head immediately is thinking, I'm going to get graphic right now. (laughs) <laughs> with you guys, but I'm only giving you this as a pointer because you first impressions are lasting impressions, just like everybody says, and it's true, at least for me it is. If you order something really fatty on your first date, immediately I'm thinking on my head, mind, this is our first date, he's ordering something like not too healthy, he's like veering towards like a bunch of like fatty, greasy food. I'm thinking immediately like, oh my fucking God, like, your cum must be fucking nasty. (laughs) And I'm thinking that because I'm thinking, okay, this is our first date. If what happens when, say I'm feeling you and we go out again and you just continue eating shitty food, like, that's just nasty to me. That is just like, (laughs) that's just not good. That is just terrible, terrible, terrible men. So please (laughs) watch what you eat, especially on your first date. Don't, even if you like fatty stuff, like do not, do not show that on the first date. Just kind of like spread it out. So then you can give the girl like, oh, cool. Okay. He does care what he eats. You know, he looks after his diet. So then of course, if you have people that are sexual or people that like to do certain things, then you know, they're going to think like, oh, cool. Okay, so he must taste really good. (laughs) I'm sorry, but you know what? That's the kind of things that I think about, and I'm sure other women think about that too. Guys, is there any type of anything that turns you off if you go on a date with a woman? Like, what is the one thing that turns you off about us that we do on the first date? Tweet me at Elizabeth Meza. Um, let me know, or you could always send me a, a Facebook message. I'm always very, I respond immediately. As soon as you guys message me anything about the show, I am very active. I respond right away. Let me know if there's any particular thing that it's a major turnoff for you guys on a first date and, and maybe not even on the first date, maybe your first phone conversation with the guy or the girl, what is a major turnoff that if you had her? You know, or if you had him and were thinking about maybe going to step number two, like date number two or doing something, what is the one thing that she might may have done that completely turned you off and you're like, "Mm, I don't think so. Like, this is not good anymore. Let me know. Tweet me. And I am going to go on a quick break right now. And when we come back, we'll continue more about the do's and don'ts about some dates. And also, I want to address some of you, um, ask me anything that I haven't been able to do because I've just been having shows that I've had guests and I just haven't been able to squeeze it in. But I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that tonight um, for the Ask Me Anything. And I'll be right back. You know what it is, man? It's Dre Sinatra. You know you listen to the Cooler Tunes. We about to turn up. Let's go. Woo. Hi, it's Elizabeth the Barracuda. My pick of the week is Nicki Minaj, Bees in the Trap. If you know me, you know every time I choose a song, I always uh, choose it because it makes reference to either my sexuality or something that I like. And for this song, I like it because this is how I feel. I'm very bold and uh, I will always tell you exactly what it is that I need, that I want and I require in the bed. And I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. And a hundred motherfuckers can't tell me shit. Bees in the Trap, that's my song. Ooh, a hundred motherfuckers can't tell me nothing. 